Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine for children may only be months away as back to school ramps up in Metro Detroit. The pharma giant plans to submit data to the FDA this September for kids age 5 to 11. So here with more is our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. And Dr. Nandy, this news comes at a time when many parents are worried about the virus spreading in school. How long do you think it'll take the FDA to review this data? So Glenn, I finally can give some good news. I think this is actually great news. I know that many parents like myself will be happy to hear that Pfizer is gathering their data and planning on filing with the FDA in September. So you're coming right up. And since, uh, since Pfizer's clinical trials for kids really started back in March, they'll have a lot of data on how well children responded to the vaccine along with safety data, right? So after Pfizer files this data, they'll be able to then submit an application asking the FDA to expand their emergency use authorization to include children five to 11. That'll likely happen in October. And then getting back to your original question, how long will it take the FDA to review the data? I expect it'll take about a month. We'll likely hear the FDA's decision sometime in late November or early December. And if it gets approved, I expect shots for kids five and up will be available before the end of the year, which is very exciting news to me. Wow. And what about those children younger than five? Where is Pfizer with those trials? Yeah, I've got one of those too. So Pfizer has clinical trials for children age two and four and also babies six months to a year, right? These are, uh, you know, very, very precious uh, age kids. So t data is expected on, on these two groups sometime in October or November. Now, as a father, three boys were not yet eligible to get vaccinated. I'm, I'm really thrilled that our younger population will likely have a vaccine to protect them from serious illness and, and death. And I find it heartbreaking, right? This is what happens, Glenda. 300 kids every day are being hospitalized because they're so sick with COVID-19. That's, that's a lot of kids. And recently, over 180,000 children were infected in one week alone. As disappointing as this statistic is, get this, only 50% of kids who can get the shots have done so. So this makes me really concerned about what may be around the corner since school is just getting started. As a parent, as a physician, I can't stress the importance, again, of surrounding our youngest people with others who are vaccinated. This will really help keep them safe and also keep the adults right safe too if the children get infected. A, a re recent British study found the Delta variant is twice as likely to, to land unvaccinated people in the hospital when compared to the Alpha variant, the one we had last year. This is why it's so important that kids and people age 12 and up get vaccinated. That's the way we're going to get out. But good news for those who are younger, it should be just a, a little while before they can get vaccinated. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you for the update. If you have a coronavirus question for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.